What's up guys, Luke here again and welcome to the third episode of Training to a Rainbow Squad. As you can see, we're going to start things off by picking up a really good deal on the Tony Cruz centre mid. As you can see, the cheapest was 7k and we got one for 4.9. So if we list ours up for 6.9 overnight, that will more than likely sell, which after profit is really nice. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to have a little method that I'm going to show you guys. Um, just like a, kind of like a cheap method for maybe 0 to 20k, maybe around there, I'm not too sure. Um, you can use it whenever you want really, I mean, I, I still use it on my main account and stuff. But, anyway, as you can see, four of the players have sold three silver players and a Tony Cruz, who has actually got a plus 10 all over card on him or something. But, um, the guy who bought it must have put that on. But as you can see, now we pick up another Cruz for 3.9k, and we're going to list him up for, how much are we going to list him up for? 6.6k, 6.1k, and which after taxes, that is also a very nice profit. And I will... Be trade not trading with cr as many cruises in the next episode because I don't want you guys to get bored of seeing me just trading with one player, even though it is easy and making me a lot of profit. But I will occasionally trade go back to him because he's a really good player to trade with. As you can see, two of them did sell and went and picked up two more. Two Ramirez is still selling. Pizza one for four point six, listed up for five point five, and which obviously after tax will be a really good profit. And then we get another one for four point five, and we're going to list this one up for five point five. Um, centre mid with Hunter on. That's pretty much what I search for, and just look for any open bids or anything like that. That's always the best way to do it. Then we go and pick up two Valbuenas at striker converted, and um, we get one for one point three k. We're going to list it up for one point nine. I think we get the other one for eight hundred and fifty coins. We're going to list it up for. 1.9 as well which after tax will be really good and one some guy was actually price fixing him so one of them got bought pretty quick as you can see there as you can see one sold but we went and have got another one here for 1.9k and we're going to list him up for 2.8k i think that one had hunter on it i didn't really get too much of a look at it but next player is going to be a valbuena at cam with hunter on it for 3.2k to list it up for 4.6k and obviously after tax that will be a really good profit and then we go and pick up a silver player which I actually use going to show you the method on at the end with for 300 coins let's do it for 600 coins it's about nice 200 250 coin profit after tax and then we go back in and we can see that four things have sold two Valbuenas and two Cruces and the next players that we're going to pick up is going to be when you actually see but Obviously a Ramirez Cruz and the silver guy sold and we went and picked up a Santi Cazor at centre mid with Hunter and I think we got yeah 4.6 we got him for and we're going to list him up for 6.4 which after tax will be really good. So the last player we're going to pick up is going to be a cocaine centre attacking mid with Hunter on him. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have make sure you drop a like and I'll show you the method now. Alright guys, so this is the method that I was going to show you and pretty much all you can do is you can see I've got 950 coins because I've actually waited for a few players to sell. But pretty much I've done this so many times before but I found a better way to filter them out. So obviously now the market's fixed, you can do this on the console and what you do is you go silver and you can pick any league you want. I tend to go any of the big leagues, I mean some of the other leagues do work but just for examples we'll go to BPL, silver, max price 300, we're going to look for rare cards um, unless they're really good non-rares so we'll see what comes up first and um, what's anything good going to come up so Kalas there that'll be a really nice buy, I'll bid 350 on that, oh it's been outbid but Gudetti not too great of a buy because he does take a while to sell and um, this guy's good to trade with, this is his upgraded card who else have we got? Gary Medell, he'll undoubtedly sell for a lot. And who else have we got? Have we got anyone else? And pretty much all I do is I go up to the 59th minute and then I switch account or go and play Minecraft or go and do something and then I come back and see what I've won. Um, Bertrand there is actually converted from a right mid to a right wing. So I will add that one to my add that one to my transfer lists. And if I get any coins back, I will bid on that one, but it's actually gone. So that's pretty much all I really do. Um, when I've got, like, say if I've got a couple of K left and I can't really pick up any more players, um, I'll oh, I keep doing that. I need to start adding to my to my transfer list because Bellamy is a good player to trade with. Add that to my transfer list. I mean, yeah, you could do this with any league. Um, and obviously, if you don't know the price, you just quickly look them up. Um, Bundesliga is another good one that I like to use. That's how I actually got the silver player in today's video. So that's actually a really good buy there if you can get that for 300 coins. Um, that I think it was Johnson. We also got Hilbert. He goes for around a K. Um, have we got anyone else? I 
don't think I've got... I haven't got much many coins, so I can't really bid on that many players. But he's another one, because a lot of people don't really use Bundesliga silver teams. So when you actually do find someone who wants these players, um, they undoubtedly sell. So that's been the end of the video. If you haven't enjoyed, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.